Hello all, in our previous video we understood how to download and install Microfocus Unified Testing. Now we will understand that how to use it. As we know three shortcuts will be created on your system as soon as you will install UFT. These are Microfocus Unified Functional Testing, Run Result Viewer, Edge Agent for UFT. Now in order to use UFT, you are going to double click on this icon over here. It will first ask you for the license warning. That means you can enter the license keys if you have bought this particular software. But if you are using the trial version as we are doing in this case, then we will go ahead and click on continue option. So now we will click on continue. So guys, first step which will open while opening the UFT software, it's going to be add in manager in which all the dependencies will be listed, which you have installed previously when you were installing UFT. You remember when we were installing UFT, we installed all the dependencies like .NET, Java, Oracle, ALM. So all those dependencies actually why we installed it because if your application under test is created in a particular environment, that environment must be selected over here. Let's say my application under test is created in .NET. So I need to check .NET because this is how UFT matches the object properties with the application. So if application is created in Java, you can choose Java. If it is created in .NET, you can choose all the dependencies related to .NET. So if application is web-based, you can choose web-based. If application is window-based, you can choose WPF, which stands for Windows Presentation Foundation. So if your application is window-based application, you must choose this. This option will not come by default. This option will come only if you have installed .NET dependency at the time of installation, which we did in our previous video. If this is the first video you are watching. Please go ahead and watch installation and downloading video because there we understood how to install .NET dependency at the time of installation. Now the application which we are going to test is built in .NET. I am going to choose all the dependencies related to .NET that is .NET, ActiveX and that's it. I am choosing WPF. So I am choosing all these dependencies. You can choose all of them, but this is not recommended by UFT because it's going to degrade performance of UFT. So that's why it is written for optimal performance and object identification reliability. Select only the add-ins you need. You should not choose all of them or most of them because you need only those add-ins which are required for your application. It's going to identify the properties of your object. If .NET add-ins are there, it's very easy for .NET add-ins to understand the object properties if application is built in .NET. If application is built in Java, so it's going to be very easy for Java add-ins to understand the properties of Java application. So that's why it's very important that you choose only those add-ins which are required for the application. So now after choosing appropriate add-ins, we can click on OK over here. So guys, this is how your UFT interface looks like. This is the menu bar. You have file, view, resources, ALM. ALM came because at the time of installation, you check that option of ALM. Tools, window, help. So this is how the UFT's interface look like. This is a start page. You can close it. And now we can create our first project. Before creating the first project, let's understand the application which we're going to test. So guys, by default, UFT will give you the application, sample application for testing. Whenever you will install UFT software, that application will automatically get installed on your system. And if you want to search that application, there are two ways to do so. First, you can go to the search option and you can write down flight here and you will see flight GUI option. This is the application which is by default installed. When we click on this, so this is how the interface of application looks like. Name of application is Micro Focus My Flight Sample Application. And here you can write down the username and password. You might be thinking, 
we don't get any username and password yes we don't have any username and password so you can first go and randomly add anything over here so for example i'm going to enter roishans as username let's enter the same password roishans and now we will click on ok here see we got the login failed error message and here you will get the right username and password because it is a sample application they made it sure that in the error message only they have defined the right username and password so username is john and password is hp which you must use to log in into this application so we're going to close this and write on the right username and password which is john and password over here is hp and now we can click on ok button so guys this is how your application looks like it has two features initially book flight and search order first let's see how to book and flight we're gonna just understand how this application works before recording it because it is must to analyze your application first before recording it so let's analyze it guys this is your fly from that means the location from where you are departure this is your arrival location fly to so here let's say i'm choosing frankfurt and my fly to is let's say portland i'm choosing this date uh, let's say 13th um class i'm choosing first and number of tickets is number of passenger so i'm going to choose four here let's click on find flights here you will get options of all the flights matching your criteria so let's choose this flight and click on select flight button so guys this is the details of flight which we chose here it's asking for the passenger name so let's say passenger name is emily now we can go ahead and click on order you will get a confirmation message order 90 completed this is your order number in case you want to search this order number again you can click on new search this option is here search order you can search your order either with the name date or order number in our case we're going to search it with order number and click on search i'm again repeating guys we are not recording it yet we are just trying to analyze the application how actually this application works before recording it so see here you will get the information of the flight which we have booked before if you want to delete this order this is the option you can delete it from here so we can click on this it will ask you as a pop up are you sure you want to delete this order yes so this order will get deleted and you will get the confirmation message again order 90 deleted so this is the application which we going to test so let's get started and record this application i'm going to close this tab over here in order to record the application first of all you need to create the test case in order to create test case we'll click on file new test you get four options over here GUI test API test business process test business process flow so these are some options which you can choose for our testing we're going to choose GUI test so here we will name it as my test here this is the location where the test will be stored you can give solution name here solution name is under which folder or under which uh, name these recordings will be stored so let's say i'm keeping it as my test underscore book flight and that's it you can click on this create button it's going to create your test case and now the test case is created we can go ahead and record our test case on the application which we just discussed guys for recording we have two options either this record or this record first time when you are recording i recommend you to go to this record because here you have option for settings here you can change settings for recording record and run settings so i'm going to click on this option first if you see by default it might be choosing web based application but as we know this sample application is not web based 
it is window based application so we will choose this option over here and here also we have two sub options first record and run test on any open windows based application that means if any of the windows based application is open on your system it's going to record that so windows based applications examples can be ms office if it is installed on your local system you are not using online ms office so if it is installed on your system it is windows based if you have some pdf readers which are again installed on your system it is again windows based application so it can have lot of confusion so we will not choose this option so we will choose this option over here that means i want to record and run some specific application so here you can choose this and you need to add location of your flight reservation application for that you will click on this plus sign click on this browse option and navigate to c drive program files go to micro focus unified functional testing and then we will navigate to samples folder flights application and this is the location of your flight applications gui so we will choose it from here and click on open so location has been chosen we can click on okay and now we can click on apply and okay now let's get started and record the application now there is no problem you can click on this record because we have already set the application settings so we can click on this option here application has been automatically popped up because you have given location in the settings so it will open automatically here we going to click on username so username is as we know is john and password is hp we going to click on okay here and we will stop recording so if you see in your script you will see three lines has been recorded so first entering the username second entering the password and third clicking on okay button so now if you want to run this you can click on this run button over here but remember precondition is that that login dialog box should be open on your screen so if login dialog box is not open where it's going to execute these steps so for that we must first of all open login dialog box again because by default this window is open on your screen and now we're going to close this and open the login dialog box again so for that you will go to search option here type flight as we did last time click on this now your login functionality is open we can go ahead and click on run here so guys you will see john has been entered and it enter password as hp and it is successfully executed you will also get report at the end where you will see passed three lines has been passed and execution is 100% successful guys this is how you can record your test case and execute your test case thanks for now in our next video we're going to understand many advanced features of uft thank you